Craig, good morning, Craig Howard. Happy to be with you again today. I uh, yesterday I had to learn how to do something that I had never done before. I had to learn how to how to uh, assemble some things and put some things together that I had never done. And it wasn't a difficult job, but it was just something I had never done. So I had to go get a sample of what I had to do, and then I had to measure it and look at it and look at the parts and see how it was put together, and then I had to duplicate it. Learning is an important part of life. Sometimes we get to the point, and I get to this point, especially with technology stuff, I get to the point where I don't want to learn a new phone system. I don't want to learn a new operating system. I I know the one I have. I know how to use it. I know how, how it works. It's doing everything I want it to do. Why do I have to learn a new system? But the reality is learning is part of life. And when we get to the point where we say, I'm just not willing to learn anymore, um, then life has kind of come to a standstill. The book of Proverbs is a book that was written by King Solomon for the sake of his son, and he was trying to pass on wisdom. We all know that Solomon was considered the wisest man that ever lived, and Solomon was trying to pass on his wisdom to his son. And one of the main things that Solomon tried to get him to understand was you need to put effort into continuing to learn. You need learning. You need to do that. He says in Proverbs chapter 1, verse 5, Let the wise hear and increase in learning, and the one who understands obtain guidance. He said you need to be increasing in learning. Proverbs 1, 7, The fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge. Fools despise wisdom and instruction. He says the person who says, I don't want to learn. I don't want to learn something new. I don't want to... I don't want to, I don't want to continue to learn. I don't want to continue to grow. He said, that's, that's foolish. And something that you shouldn't be a part of, something that you shouldn't do, especially when it comes to learning about the Word of God, especially when it comes, you know, <clears throat> I've been pastoring for 41 years. Um, I've been studying the Bible since I was a little kid. I've been through the Bible many times. I doubt there's a word anywhere in the Bible that I haven't read at one time or another. And in fact, I know there's not. And yet, there are many times as I pick up the Word and begin to study it right now, um, you know, I'm going through looking at the 23rd Psalm for a second time this year. And as I learn, as I, as I read through it, I continue to find new things about the 23rd Psalm, how God defines himself in the 23rd Psalm. How, how he is, how we see him as uh, for what he is, how God wants us to see him, how David saw him. There's that whole process of learning, and we just, even though it's something I've been over many times, I continue to learn new things through it. Well, Solomon said learning is a good thing, and that's especially true where it comes to the Word of God. In Proverbs 18, 15, he said, an intelligent heart acquires knowledge. Did you hear that? An intelligent heart acquires knowledge. And the ear of the wise seek knowledge. I could go on and on and on with, with Scripture where Solomon is saying, listen, you need to put effort into learning. A long time ago, I told myself I was going to read a book a month. Now, for some of you, that's all. That's very slow. Some of you will read a book a week. My wife probably does that. Um I've I've never been somebody who just enjoyed reading. Now I don't I don't usually read books for entertainment or enjoyment. I usually read books to learn and study. But uh, I promised myself I was going to continue to read, just if for no other reason, so that I was learning something new, so that I had something fresh and new and vital to preach and teach as a pastor. It's been one of the best decisions I ever made in my life to continue to learn. And Lord willing, I'm going to try to continue to learn the rest of my life. What about you? What have you learned this week? Is there anything new from the Word of God you've learned this week? Well, this morning you learned that if you don't want to learn, the Bible says you're foolish. Something to think about. I hope you have a great day today. I hope it's a day filled with blessing. 
Uh, thank you for those of you that said you've been praying for the revival services I'm preaching. They've been going well. Uh, thank you for that. Thank you for your prayers. Have a great day. Mom and Dad, if you're watching, I love you. Talk to you later. Bye.